Go run. It's go run. Stressful to come push, up there. Push out everybody. He's the lead developer on the actual uh, on the actual game. Yes. You're in the front of the camera, but thanks. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, and we're back. Awesome. Well, Venice, in the meantime, does uh, everything it tries to compete. But this is like again, like I mentioned earlier on, this is how we set up these sessions. We run them. We get feedback, and this is kind of how this works. People are developing as we go. We gonna. It, it kind of works. And as long as you guys keep on watching, and as, as long as you guys are interested in what we're actually doing, then you know it's that's then we can continue on, because. That's kind of how it works. If there's interest from you guys to stream this sort of thing, then, yeah. Then we're going to continue on doing it. If there's not, we're going to do something else. Continuing to push the limit of uh, trying to keep things as transparent to you guys as well. So do you guys know what's going on? Because we don't want to be like the monolith sort of thing. We're not being any impenetrable. We want you guys, to, we, we want you guys to be involved. That's why we have these threads on the forums. If, you don't, if you're not on the forum right now, go to paradoxplaza.com. Go on towards the forum, register, have these discussions on what you've seen today and if you want to see anything change and what your feedback is and what your input is. And that's how we get these design decisions done, through both through getting playing our own games, but also from listening to you guys, the players. Let's get back into the game. As uh, war so far, it looks like England's dead. Grey Kolf has uh, withled down to yet only London. London is all he has. Although this is also the series, this is also where we find out. Oh wait, no, he's got a couple of colonies, but he is under heavy attack by the Moroccans, under heavy attack by the Spanish. Although last time we checked, the Spanish were actually doing a pretty bad job. Yeah, they're defending, and it looks like the English, actually, the British actually managed to kick themselves back into gear. Poor Britain. Poor Britain completely getting crushed. We don't care. That's what you get. Netherlands. I'm Dutch myself, and seeing this, this makes, this makes the inner Dutchman... Very, very weird because we're not very expansionistic within Europe. We're more of a colonial sort of empire. But this, this makes me tickle. Did he actually change the culture? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and I'm no longer in sync, so that is a shame. So we're gonna have to. Uh, uh, and it's sorted. Okay. That is uh, fine. That resolved itself. That's good. <laughs> actually changed the culture. <laughs> Yorkshire. Yorkshire and Northumberland are now firmly Dutch culture. Lincoln as well. Norfolk and Essex. Yeah, yeah. Norfolk's Dutch as well. <laughs> They're going to have like windmills everywhere. Doing like clog stuff. Growing tulips all over the place. For those people that are asking about Belgium. Belgium wasn't really a country until the 1800s. Like in late 1800s, I don't, I don't even remember when the Belgian Revolution is. If only I had a machine in front of me, which allowed me to access the, 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 the full sum of human knowledge. Yes, that's that's always useful. Oh wait, what is this? I got a laptop right here. All right, uh, Belgium. When was the Belgian Revolution? I'm very curious now. Uh, Belgian, re Belgium uh, does not. Has existed since 1830, so that's actually 20 years after the end of our last date. So actually, nine years. Nine years, because the game ends in 1821, if I'm not entirely sure. There you go. Shame on you. <laughs> no. Uh, the Consul House of Lancaster. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do, Groogie? Uh, now I need to look for Great Britain. Did, oh my god, that... <laughs> oh man. Ow! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's painful. <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> oh, Britain. Oh, Britain. You are so screwed. <laughs> 
How big is your army? I don't even want to know. I'm going to look anyway. There we go. 40. He just managed to disband an entire stack. Oh, uh, the poor house of Stanley. Into an age of glory. The <laughs> revolutionary France has formed. Very nice. Revolutions. So, revolutionary France has formed. Now, this is something that you want to... This is actually something that does not happen necessarily all the time. Normally, France is a monarchy, but around the 1870, 70, 1776... I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> How... What's that war exhaust? Oh, God. 13 colony revolutionaries. Okay, I'm going to be talking about the French Revolutionary War shortly, right after these short messages, because uh, it would appear that we may or may not have the United States coming up. The United States may actually be a thing. Oh, man. Maximum loans, maximum rebels. This may actually happen. Bankruptcy looming. Yes, we've, 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 we've delved into the revolutionary era. We may have revolutions all over the place soon. Uh, New Spain, come on, the United States form. Oh, we're just waiting for it. Uh, we haven't seen anything, we haven't seen Argentina form or Brazil. I doubt it's going to happen. Okay, they're the, they're the revolutionaries. It should happen. Uh, 70, 75. I'm going to give it two more years. But in the meantime, Revolutionary France, I'm going to keep my eye on it. They immediately changed their flag to the classic, uh, well, the, instead of the fleur de lis, you get the blue, white, and red colors of Revolutionary Fra France, which allows them to do a couple of things. Mainly their government changes, which is the first thing. Uh, basically, what happens then is you have higher morale of armies, you have uh, higher tolerance and all that. Do you get any new ideas? I don't think you do. No, you just get the classic French ideas. But basically, the morale of armies, and basically it turns your armies into an even more ridiculously powerful force. And this is this is Napoleon's France here we're talking about. Revolutionary France, the rest were the Bastille, and all of that. So, yeah. The Bastille is no more. Come on, United States, form. Did it form? No, it did not. Something happened. Why did the... That is a shame. So, Noble Republic, 13 colonies, Prince... Okay, so it does not appear that the... the uh, Alright, so they are a former colonial nation. They need to be at peace. So they, they need to be released, basically. So their government has changed, but they have not been released yet by Great Britain. Which is... Surprisingly British, but I would not necessarily say very great at the moment. Malaya, Naples. But yeah, the American nation hasn't formed yet. Could still happen, though. Could still happen this game. We'll wait for it. We'll wait for it. England, Mexico is a thing. I don't see many wars. Morocco... Morocco is uh, taking a Seminole, which is over here. I believe, if I'm not entirely mistaken, where the hell is Seminole? It's one of those one of those things that is sometimes difficult to gauge and where these places actually are. It's one of the islands. Uh, it's Antigua, Dominica, Saint Martin. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. That's over here. Interesting. So Morocco is trying to take Florida. Interesting. So Morocco is actually actively trying to deny the formation of the United States. That is a very curious prospect. Let's see. Uh, it's a bold strategy, but see if that works out for them. I like how a guy in the chat is like, rise, Belgium. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you will get you will have nothing but this orange monstrosity. <laughs> that is brutal. For some reason Hansa has East Frisia. It's very interesting. Normally you'd think they would have Bremen or Oldenburg. Oldenburg. 
Burg. I don't know what a German pronunciation. Uh, Olden, Oldenburg. I can speak German perfectly fine. This is sometimes my pro pronunciation for like places like this, like Westfalen, Hanover, etc. Now I'm just speaking English with a vaguely German accent, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, the 13 colonies are losing Florida very quickly. And New Spain, in the meantime, appear to have just a peasant uprising falling in towards Naples. Nothing really new there. Very exciting stuff. And meanwhile, the world is a better place. I'm still waiting for the Termites to take over these two right here. So they can form Mughal. But Morocco is like a, Morocco is like a stain on India. Slowly expanding in every single direction. Looks like they managed... Did they manage to... Seminole? No, they did not. Still at war with the Spanish. They haven't formed the United States just yet. They haven't been released yet uh, by the English. I need to go check that. There's a lot of stuff to actually look for, look through here. Um, has colonies, yeah. This is one of the one of the new buttons here, by the way. But he hasn't released anything. I, I would love to see the United States forming. North of 13 colonies are slightly further to the south than usual. We have about uh, about 10 more minutes of gameplay remaining here as uh, Great Britain has massive war ex <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and they have British noble rebels. And only one province to fight over, which is going to be London. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, it's, oh, Portugal uh, wants an alliance. Doesn't look like uh, that's going to be doing anything anytime soon, though. I'm clicking through these, but it's not like I can actually do anything. Uh, Deputed succession. This may be an idea to look at. Yeah. It's all gone bad for Great Britain. As Spain is taking a firm grip on the world. And coming out as one of the strongest nations. Revolutionary France, though. is being super, super powerful. Let's see if we can actually, uh, there we go. Yeah, first, almost 12,000 points on the board. 12,000 points on the board, followed by uh, the Russians, I believe. If I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, let's see if we can find Russia, there we go. Second, ooh, they're actually not that far behind. Actually, yeah, they are. They're about 1,500 points behind. Looks like Russia is going to take that second place trophy. And uh, looking exceptionally strong right now. I'm actually not having too much war going on. That's actually quite surprising. Kind of curious how that is going to pan out for them. Interesting. Well, for most people that has managed to come in, this is Europa, Universalis you know, 4. It is 1777. We're getting in towards the last stages of our game. And uh, revolutionary France has formed. Florida seems to have... Go home, Florida. You're drunk. That seems to go somewhere else. 13 colonies. Actually, it's kind of funny because I mean, there's, there's a province here called Florida. The 13 colonies almost, almost was the United States. But Britain, for some reason, doesn't want to let go. Even though they're only existing as a London province. 
at this point in time. I'm actually 